Hello friends, let's discuss current affairs. Have book and pen ready? Write as much as you can. Here is the first question in today's session. Whom the following has become the first serving member of parliament to be appointed as captain in the territorial, territorial army? The answer is highlighted there, Anurag Thakur, but I'm going to discuss what's the territorial army about. So let's write some stuff about it. As is the case, we always write as, you know, uh, whatever we can. In fact, what's important from the exam point of view, we'll put down on paper so that we have a takeaway. Please write, Territorial Army. I'll go a bit slow so that you could, you know, jot down. One, first point, underline that first point. Second line of defense. Second line of defense after the regular army after the regular army so we discuss in the indian army so obviously second line of defense after the regular army that's one two second point the most important prerequisite the most important prerequisite for joining the territorial army for joining the territorial army is self-employment self-employment or gainful employment gainful employment so one has to be either a self-employed person or should, should be working somewhere this is the most important one you know um, prerequisite next Current Director General or simply Director General, Director General, D.P. Pandey, D.P. Pandey. Next, next point, Force Size, Force Size, 43,000, little over 43,000, take 43,000. 43k, k is kilo, kilo is thousand, so 43,000. Next. Um, first raised, first raised means when was it started? First raised, 1917, 1917. Next. Renamed, renamed. Territorial Army, Territorial Army on 9th October 1949, renamed Territorial Army on 9th October 1949. Now, you should know that before this, between 1970 and 49, it had two different names. I mean, first it was Indian Defense Forces, then, you know, something more, something else, and then it came to the Territorial Army. Okay. So finally, now it's called Territorial Army. As you can see, it was raised on, I mean, in 1917, but eventually renamed uh, with the name that we now know, Territorial Army, on 9th October 1949. Okay. Um, next, what is it called? Yeah, uh, annual day, annual parade day, territorial armies, annual parade day, territorial armies, annual parade day, parade day, 9th October, 19th, 9th October, 9th October, 9th October. Next. <clears throat> now, questions who is the first serving MP to be appointed captain? Yeah. Now, we could also, this is one fact you could write first serving MP to be appointed captain in the TA, Anurag Thakur. Anurag Thakur. And if you wish to know who is Anurag Thakur, you could write this as well. Let me clear this first. Okay. Um, Anurag Thakur, Minister of State. For finance and two ministries actually, corporate affairs. Corporate affairs. 
So Anurag Thakur, the ex-secretary of the BCCI, is now basically the Ministry of Finance. He heads the Ministry of Finance um, and Corporate Affairs in the MOS capacity. The MOS, Ministry of State capacity. That is, uh, he is um, after the current Union Cabinet Minister Nirmala Sitaraman in the case of these two ministries. Okay, um, next right. Uh, Sachin Pilot. Sachin Pilot. Next point. Sachin Pilot. So, sorry. Sachin Pilot. Um, first Union Minister. First Union Minister. First Union Minister to be commissioned, to be appointed or commissioned, there is a technical word for this, to be commissioned as officer in the TA, in the Territorial Army, in the Territorial Army 2012. 2000 so the first union minister you know to have ever been appointed to the TA was Sachin Pilot next see Sachin Pilot as you know is um, you know um, a congress person you know he's a congress party activist he is a former deputy chairperson chair you know chief minister of uh, Rajasthan I don't think he is currently because he fell out with the then Chief Minister resigned, you know, from the cabinet. Then again, he came back to the Congress. I think he's still there in the Congress, but I don't think he's, you know, uh, the Deputy Chief Minister any longer. I would correct myself if I'm incorrect. Okay, in the next session, I'll tell you if I'm incorrect. Um, last point, uh, Mohan Lal. Yes, this is a good point to write. Next point, Mohan Lal, first actor first actor first actor to be appointed to be appointed to be appointed honorary honorary lieutenant colonel lieutenant colonel c o l o n e l see the correct spelling of this if you would want me to write i will write it here This is pronounced Colonel and this is Lieutenant or Lieutenant. So Lieutenant Colonel. Okay. So this is a little about the TA. I think that's pretty comprehensive in any case. Hmm? If you look at the choice B there, Tejasi Surya is a member of parliament from uh, Bangalore South if I'm not wrong. Okay. And then we have Kiran Rijuju, you could write about him, Kiran choice 5, Kiran Rijuju, um, Minister of State, Minister of State, Minister of State for Minority Affairs, for Minority Affairs, Minister of State for Minority Affairs and next Minister of State, Minister of State with independent charge, Minister of State with independent charge, Minister of State with independent charge, dash, youth and youth affairs, yeah, youth affairs and sports. Youth affairs and sports. So the Kiran Rijiju, I, you know, he's from Arunachal Pradesh. Uh, this um, BJP leader heads two ministries in the MOS capacity. One MOS Minister of State for uh, Minority Affairs. You know, the second one MOS is Independent Charge, uh, Youth Affairs and Sport. That's about it, guys. Let's get on with the next one. At the 67th National Film Awards, which film won the National Award in the Best Hindi Film Category? Chichore, that's a film. Chichore, directed by Nitish Tiwari. Nitish Tiwari. 
This guy also directed Dangal, yeah, Nidesh Tiwari. So I'm going to discuss the National Film Awards, 67th National Film Awards. Everything that you should know from the exam point of view, from the interview point of view, you could have it here. Please write. 67th National Film Awards. 67th National Film Awards. Okay. First point. Best film. I will write in short. B for best. Okay. Best film. Marakkar. I do not know the Malayalam pronunciation. But um, I will put it this way. Marakkar. Lion of the Arabian Sea. Lion of the Arabian Sea. Marakkar, Lion of the Arabian Sea. Hmm? This is a Malayalam film. If you want to write in brackets, write the language as well. Malayalam. Malayalam. Okay. Marakkar, Lion of the Sea. It stars Mohan Lal. The Malayali superstar. Next, best actor. Best actor. Best actor. Was jointly shared between Dhanush for a film called Asuran Tamil. Dhanush for Asuran. Tamil and Manoj Bajpai. Manoj Bajpai for a film called Honsle Hindi. Hindi. Hmm. See, I haven't watched Honsle. But I have watched that movie Asuran, which is a Tamil film, though I don't understand Tamil. A friend had recommended this and I watched it with subtitles. We should watch this. This is about caste violence, um, with caste dynamics in small villages, uh, in a small village in, you know, in, in um, Tamil Nadu. I mean, it's a very gory film, but importantly, something that's pretty realistic. Hmm? So two persons, two actors shared the Best Actor Award, Manoj Pajpai for Bhonsli in a Hindi film and Dhanush for Asuran, a Tamil film. Okay, next, Best Actress. Best Actress. Best Actress, Kangana Ranaut. Kangana Ranaut. In fact, um, two of her films were now. She was nominated for two of her films. One was Panga, this one here. Okay. One was Panga. The other was this, Manikarnika, the Queen of Jhansi. Manikarnika, the Queen of Jhansi. So, she won the Best Actress Award. Next, Best Supporting Actor. We will take three, four ca more categories. Okay. Best Supporting Actor Supporting Actor Vijay Setupati Terrific Actor Vijay Setupati For this film called Super Deluxe Again a Tamil film Super Deluxe so Vijay Setupati. Hmm. Next, I'll write here itself. Why it move the place? Best actress, best supporting actress. Sorry, best supporting actress. And the name would be that of Pallavi. The winner was Pallavi Joshi. Pallavi Joshi for this film, The Tashkent Files. The Tashkent Files, a Hindi film. Um, 
This is about the death of um, Lal Bahadur Shastri, the former Prime Minister of India. In mysterious circumstances, he passed away. That's a film about Pallavi Joshi's acting has won her the Best Supporting Actress National Award. Okay, then let's write um, Best Director. Best Director. Sanjay Puran Singh Chauhan. Yeah, yeah, one guy. Sanjay Puran Singh Chauhan for his film called Bahattar. Bahattar means 72. Hooray. Yeah, 72. Angel, you could say beautiful women, people call them virgins and all that in heaven. In the Islamic culture, the word is um, hur, hur, basically. So, Bahadur Hure. Hmm? This is again a Hindi film. A Hindi film. From there, we could write best children's film. Best children's film. Kasturi Hindi Kasturi. Huh. Kasturi Hindi Next Best Film for National or National Integration National Integration Taj Mahal Taj Mahal, okay. Uh, I'm not very sure um, of the language, uh, but I guess it's a Marathi film. Marathi film, yeah. Taj Mahal, Marathi. Next, last one. Best film on social issues. Best, I will write it here. Social issues. Best film on social issues. Anandi Gopal. Anandi. Gopal Marathi Anandi Gopal Marathi film Okay, I think that was pretty comprehensive a lot of stuff that we should know all here hmm? Next Whom the following persons have won the best actress award at the 67th National Film Awards. Now you know because you've already taken the notes, you already know this, you learned this. The answer would be that much clear for choice C. Hmm? With choice 3, in fact. Okay. So because you've learned, life is easy. If you don't know, it's always okay because you can always learn, isn't it? Hmm. Who has been adjudged the best actor at the 67th National Film Awards? You know, this is just, there are two guys, Manoj Bajpai and two Dhanush. Okay, the late uh, Sushant Singh Rajput, uh, Sushant Singh Rajput starred in this film, Chichore. Terrific actor, but left us quite soon, quite early, in fact, uh, way too soon. The union government recently formed an expert committee for startups India seed fund led by. Harkesh Kumar Mittal, you could write this. Harkesh Kumar Mittal. I'll give you the full name of this chap. Harkesh Kumar Mittal. Okay. Harkesh Kumar Mittal. Hmm. So I want you to write this about this, you know, I want you to write this short, you know, a short note on the Startup India Seed Fund. Please write. Hmm? The first point. Uh, corpus of Corpus C O R P U S Corpus of nine forty five crore rupees. Nine forty five crore rupees. Nine forty five crore rupees to be dispersed. To be disbursed. To over to over thirty six hundred 
entrepreneurs 3600 entrepreneurs over 5 years over 5 years over 5 years full stop the funding will be available the funding will be available to eligible will be available to eligible startups to eligible startups to support to support their business plans it's a long thing prototype and all that stuff will come i'm skipping it i'm using the language that has that come from this the government of india website that um, to to eligible startups uh, to support their business model business models and plans plans including including product development including product development and commercialization and commercialization commercialization so right from the conception stage till the market the you know, support will be provided in terms of funds and everything you see this commercialization here i normally write a z instead of an s okay commercialization last point these startups could be these startups could be from could be from different could be from different sectors like could be different from different sectors like waste management comma education education especially inclusive education education comma and agriculture and agriculture and agriculture hmm okay there we go guys lot of money and last point it will be implemented from it will be implemented from 1 april 2021 First April, twenty twenty one. Hmm. Cha. Let's look at who are these guys. Subhas Chandra Khuntia, S C Khuntia. Um. This is Irdai guy. Irdai. Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India. Insurance Regulatory. insurance regulatory and development authority of india insurance regulatory and development authority of india next pd waghela pd waghela is the chairman of tri telecom telecom regulatory authority of india telecom regulatory authority of india ha ar sharma is the ex chairman of tri look at ajay tyagi chairman of sebi which is securities and exchange board of india securities and exchange board of india securities and exchange board of india chalo the chapter was recently honored with the international federation of film archives award 
Amitabh Bachchan. Now why was he announced? Uh, given this, please you could write this, um, or rather write just write F I A F. What is this? International Federation of Film Archives. You could write this. Now you must be wondering, how is it F I instead of A I F? Isn't it I F? Because it's French full form. Federation A. Federation A. Internationally, so we are just taking the English one, basically. Hmm? Right. This one, global organization, global organization of global organization of film archives, film archives and museums. Film archives and museums. Next point. About seventy percent of films. About seventy percent of film films in India. Films are lost. Are lost. That is, no archives found. No grammar. No archives found. So the films may negatives just go disappear. They simply disappear. Now there is digital, but think about the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. In fact, even in the last decade, tenth decade, a lot of film negatives are gone. More than 70 percent. And Amitabh Bachchan has been honored for a specific role in ensuring that. You know, films are archived, so he has spent a considerable amount of time and money in getting films being archived, you know, to, to 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 archive them so that they can be there for posterity. They can be there for posterity. So I was reading some data on this. Films made just about five years ago. No, there is no archive of that. It doesn't exist. The films don't exist. The negatives don't exist. And I was quite shocked to learn that actually. Hmm. Amitabh Bachchan is the world's one of the world's biggest film stars, and uh, this year's award was presented by the great uh, directors uh, Christopher Nolan and uh, Martin Scorsese. Martin Scorsese and uh, Nolan, Christopher Nolan, are some of the greatest, two of the greatest film directors in the world. Next, to carry out research and product development in space technology, the ISRO, which is the Indian Space Research Organization, is planning to set up a space technology incubation center at NIT Roorkeela, which is in Odisha. Which is in Odisha. This is in Odisha. Telangana, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, and this is in Rajasthan. So I'll tell you a little about this particular thing. If you write this, ISRO full form, Indian Space Research Organization, Indian Space Research Organization, Indian Space Research Organization. Okay, will provide will provide rupees two crore rupees two crore. For two years, for two years, to NIT Roorkeela, NIT you can say Roorkeela also, Roorkeela, to set up, to set up the Space Technology Incubation Center, the Space Technology Incubation Center. Space Technology Incubation Center. Okay. Yeah. Next. Next point. This center will promote. This center will promote innovations. Innovations. Comma. Startups. Startups. Comma. Capacity building, capacity building 
in in space technology in space technology in space technology in the states of in the states of what are the states odisha in the states of odisha west bengal jharkhand bihar and the union territory of and the union territory of andaman and nicobar islands andaman and nicobar islands andaman and nicobar islands hmm? that's it World Water Day is observed on the 22nd of March every year. The theme for this year is valuing water. And water means different things to different persons, my friends. To an agriculturist, it's lifeline. Without water, he can't irrigate his crop. To someone, for people who want to drink water, it's a lifeline. Yeah. To, for shipping companies, everything, it's a lifeline. With, just need to think look at it that way what does it mean actually yeah so you see this is the 2021 theme and this is the 2020 theme 2020 theme water and climate change world water day is observed to highlight the importance of water in everyday life and most importantly how water conservation is important why water conservation is important to have a sustainable future so you have this world water day on march 22nd then earth day earth day april 22nd hmm? i'm just giving you something on 20 seconds one more day of 20 seconds you have um, national mathematics day of india national math day December 22 December 22 yeah, the day on 22nd not much actually not much hmm so that's a little about this which are the following statements about the introduction of Gandhi peace prize is out true well, there you go my friends uh, the International Gandhi Peace Prize is an annual award that was started by the government of India in 1995. The prize for last year, that is 2020, was conferred on Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman of Bangladesh. The prize for 2019 was conferred on the late Sultan Kabuz bin Sayyid Al Sayyid of um, Oman. So, which of these is true? All of them are true. Okay, I'm just going to tell you about little about this International Gandhi Peace Prize. Please write International Gandhi Peace Prize. International Gandhi Peace Prize. Okay, let's write this. Underline, underline that. And uh, first point, set up in 1995. It's already mentioned. Set up in 1995. Set up in 1995. Full stop. Annual award. Next point. Annual award. Annual award given to individual organizations. Individual organizations. Individual organizations. And individuals. In fact, you could have put it this way. Uh, any award given to individuals and organizations individuals and organizations individuals and organizations separately towards their contribution or rather for their contribution towards for their contribution towards for their contribution towards social economic social economic um, and political transformation and political transformation through through non-violence through 
non violence and other and other and other gandhian methods and other gandhian methods so any award given to individuals or and organizations for their contribution towards social economic and political transformation through non violence and um, other methods other gandhian methods full stop the jury took the jury the jury for the prize the zoo jury it's not this is it the jury could say or jury both are fine the jury many people say jury it's jury was it jury the jury for the prize includes includes so who se who selects the winner includes the prime minister comma leader of the opposition in the lok sabha leader of the opposition in the lok sabha comma chief justice of india chief justice of india comma speaker of lok sabha speaker of lok sabha speaker of lok sabha and one eminent one eminent e m i n e n t eminent person one other eminent person one other eminent person it could be anyone so they generally reside for someone who is an expert in that domain hmm last one first recipient first recipient dash 1995 1995 in brackets oh sorry dash julius nerere julius nerere in brackets president of tanzania former president of tanzania he is dead former president of tanzania hmm okay that's it there and um, this man is also dead in fact this guy is dead this guy is dead yeah so kabus died 2019 and the rest uh, see when they say sheikh mujibur rahman he was killed in 1975 that merely about him sheikh mujibur rahman was called bongo bandhu or banga bandhu banga let's write in our language banga bandhu hmm not the west bengal not the bangladeshi bengali banga bandhu friend of the bongs now he led the freedom movement uh, of bangladesh against the pakistanis and there is a long story i'll cut it short in 1971 bangladesh got independence and sheikh mujibur rahman became the first president first president and later the first vice uh, first pm first pm okay now you need to know something more here that um 1970 from 1970 till 75 he was around and in 75 he was killed his entire family was killed by pakistani backed um, military personnel okay um entire family except for two persons the two persons were the two daughters of sheikh mujibur rahman and um, at this time of at uh, the time of the massacre killings uh, by the army bangladeshi army soldiers in the presidential house uh, two sheikh mujibur um, two were away in europe holidaying yeah and one of these two is the current prime minister of bangladesh sheikh hasina wajed sheikh hasina is the daughter of sheikh mujibur rahman and ladies and gentlemen 
it is at the time of his assassination mujibur rahman's assassination that is you know sheikh hasina wajed was in europe was in europe on a holiday with her sister so that's it and currently sheikh hasina hasina wajed in bangladesh coming to sultan kabus oman oman's capitalist muscat uh the the king the king here is the sultan is haitan bin tariq haitan bin tariq okay als yeah haitan bin tariq bin means son of so haitan son of tariq that's what it means you know he's a current king of um, oman the rba recently set up a standing advisory committee to evaluate applications for universal banks and small finance banks uh, who among the following persons has been appointed chairperson of this committee shamla gopinath shamla gopinath see the idea is that um, when uh, someone an organization or a company or a group of individuals apply to set up a universal bank or a small finance bank it is the rbi that vets vets checks the applications for prima facie eligibility that is the first level of check for eligibility is the rbi so once the rbi passes this it goes to this committee that uh, is headed by shamla gopinath ex chairperson ex deputy chairperson of the uh, sorry ex deputy governor of the rbi ex deputy governor of rbi coming to the other members of this committee this 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 all four are ex are the current members of this committee but it is headed by shamla gopinath okay so is dn manoharan is ex chairman of Can, you know canara bank okay coming to even contractor ex chairman of the pension fund regulatory and development authority so become comfortable when you look up a name who is this try to recall what you read hmm along with the center this with state governments have recently signed a memorandum memorandum of agreement to implement the ken betwa link project it would be uttar pradesh and madhya pradesh okay you see this is a circle and this is a area this is a area and you should know ladies and gentlemen that um, okay let me give you some data some notes on this this is the ken river yeah Yeah, this is in blue in Ken River, and this is the Petwa River in blue. And you see, this is the Yamuna. This is a Yamuna, of which both Ken and Petwa are tributaries. Hmm? Please write. I'll give you some notes. Um, both Ken, Ken, K, K E N. It's there. Both Ken and Petwa, Ken and Petwa, are. both ken and betwa are tributaries tributaries of yamuna of river yamuna river yamuna hmm river in yamuna next the interlinking project the interlinking project the interlinking project will be the first project will be the first project will be the first project under under the national the national perspective plan okay let me write perspective national sorry perspective plan national perspective plan for interlinking of interlinking of rivers of interlinking of rivers next under this project under this project comma water from water from ken river 
Ken River K E N Ken River will be transferred to Betwa River Betwa River through a link canal through a link canal you see this this is the link canal this one from Ken it will go via like this to link canal okay next this project aims to provide or this project is expected to provide is expected to provide water supply to six water supply means drinking water supply supply drinking water supply to 62 lakh people 62 6 to 62 lakh people come on annual irrigation annual irrigation of 10.6 lakh hectares 10.6 lakh hectares 10.6 lakh hectares and generate and generate 103 megawatts 103 megawatts of hydro power hydro power Hydropower. Full stop. So that's the idea. It's a good one. You know, the first time we thought of linking the rivers was in '98, but and at the time the cost envisioned was about 5.6 lakh crore, and we have come a long way from '98. It's been what uh, some, you know, 23 years. That's a very long time, my friends. In 23 years, the cost would have escalated four times. So they started with a small one now. Hmm? From water surplus to water scarce area. That's the idea. Um, if you would want to write something more here, I uh, could write the chief minister's name. So, Odisha, Navin Patnaik. Odisha, Navin Patnaik. Navin Patnaik. Bihar, Nitish Kumar. Nitish Kumar, Bihar Nitish Kumar, um, Bihar, Jharkhand, Hemant, Soren, Hemant, Soren, and um, I think that should be fine. Yeah, or should we go with Maharashtra? You know, Uddhav Thakre. Maharashtra is Uddhav Thakre. And Punjab Captain Amrinder Singh. Captain Amrinder Singh. Captain Amrinder Singh. I'll write it here. While for Haryana it is Manohar Lal. Manohar Lal. Uh, Manohar Lal Khattar. Manor Lal Khattar. That's the chief minister of Arya. Okay. Shahid Divas is observed in India on 23rd March every year to commemorate the martyrdom of the great Bhagat Singh, the three greats, the trio, you know, um, Raj Guru Thapar, what is it, um, Sukhdev Thapar, I'm sorry. Yeah, um, Bhagat Singh, Sukhdev Thapar, and Raj Guru Shivram. Yeah. Shivam Rajguru. If you want his their full name, Sukhdev Thapar. And Shivaram Shivaram Rajguru. Now, why is it observed? See, on this day in 1931, these three great you know freedom fighters were hanged by the British. Well, you know, they, they, they were killed by the British. Now I want you to know something here. 
that um, in December 1928, December 1928, you know, um, Bhagat Singh and um, Rajkur, they decided to kill a person named, a, a policeman named James Scott. Listen to this carefully. They decided to kill James Scott because he, as a police in charge, had given the order for use of force, Lati charge, against freedom fighters who were protesting, you know, British rule. And one of these protesters was Lala Lajpat Rai. Lala Lajpat Rai. Okay. So, Lala Lajpat Rai was a victim of police brutality. He stayed put in the, he had to stay back in you know, hospital for a long time. He could not recover and eventually he passed away. And it is believed that he died of injuries from the brutal police assault attack. We should also know that um, uh, there is another version that says he suffered a heart attack because of the deep injuries and everything. Whatever, the violence was instigated by, was, was carried out by the British. Um, the lieutenant was uh, James Scott. Now, to kill James Scott, these three persons had resolved. One day, when a particular policeman came out of the station, he was shot dead. He was shot dead, and um, at point in you know, two persons, that is Bhagat Singh and Rajguru, killed him. Unfortunately for them, it is it was not James Scott. It was a guy called J P Saunders. J P Saunders. They wanted to kill James Scott for having permitted the brutal assault, uh, led the brutal assault against Lala Rajputraya. But unfortunately for, uh, you know, these three guys and for, of course, the Saunders who lost his life, you know, J.P. Saunders came out of the station, the police station, and Bhagat Singh walked past him and, I'm oh, sorry, so, um, what is it, um, Rajguru killed, you know, uh, J.P. Saunders. Bhagat Singh rushed in, pumped about eight bullets into the body of uh, James Scott till they saw who died. I mean, they saw this in the newspapers the next day. They could not believe that they had killed some other guy, but they didn't want to admit to their, their, their mistake. There was a mistake, a case, a case of identity mistake. You know, so what the 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 these guys did was they escaped from there and you know carried on with revolutionary activities elsewhere but finally they after another attack on the you know on the central assembly central legislative assembly they were arrested and hanged till death on 21st march 1931 21st march 1931 okay guys so this Lana Lajpatra is one of the founders of Punjab National Bank, Punjab National Bank, 1894-95. Okay, yeah. So they wanted to kill someone called Scott, ended up killing Saunders, but uh, eventually they were caught and then uh, they hanged till death. Okay. Very young lives, uh, they were, you see, uh, two of them were born from um, Sukhdev, I think, if I'm not wrong, was born in 1908, this is 1907, 1907. So just about the age of, um, you know, 23, 22 and 23, they were killed, my friends. Great men, yeah, unfortunately, they lost their lives. Okay. With which country has India recently partnered to launch an artificial intelligence R&D initiative? United States. United States. The US is a global pioneer in AI and we have launched, uh, we have partnered with them. And, um, you know, if you look at a little more about these countries, Argentina, it's in South America, the eighth biggest country in the world, eighth biggest by area. A little over 23.8 lakh square kilometers. Mm. Mm. The capital is Buenos Aires. Sometimes these kinds of mistakes happen. Instead of writing Buenos Aires, I wrote Sires. Buenos Aires. 
hmm? the president is alberto fernandez alberto or albert you could write both ways okay? fernandez or hernandez you can write either way Hernandez, Albert Hernandez or Alberto Hernandez. The currency is peso. The currency is peso. It's a bankrupt country. There's no money in the country, my friends. Absolutely no money. Hmm? Mexico, um, I think Mexico City, you know the capital of Mexico City. Then you have uh, Manuel, Manuel. Operator. I will write the short name. It's a very long name. Manual operator. Currency is peso. Peso because they are all Spanish countries. Hmm? Ruled by Spain. Brazil is a Portuguese country. Uh, ruled by Portugal for a long time. Yeah, till 1821. And the capital is Brasilia. And uh, the, 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 the president's name is Jair. Bolsonaro. Also, no. The president of Brazil. The currency is real. R E L. Okay. One last country. You know what's the main language in Portugal? Portuguese. What's the main language in Brazil? Portuguese. Because Brazil was ruled by Portugal for about 500 years, for about four, yeah, a little over 400 years, my friends. From 1493 to 1821, Portugal ruled Brazil. Okay, and it's the biggest Portuguese-speaking nation in the world. In fact, Portuguese-speaking people are called Lusophones. Lusophone. If you find a word called Lusophone, Luso relates to Portuguese language. Okay. Let's look at Austria. Austria's capital is Vienna. Uh, president is Chancellor. They don't have a Prime Minister, they have a Chancellor. Sebastian Kurz. Sebastian Kurz. You could write. Second youngest, second youngest head of state, serving head of state. Second youngest serving head of state. Second youngest serving head of state. Um, 32 years, 219 some days, man. I'm not very sure. 290, you could write this. 32 years. 32 years. Um, who is the oldest? Any idea? Yeah. So next class, please make sure that you tell me, um, you know, um, who is the next guy. So I'm not very. Chalo, I think before you, whether you will find out or not, I'm not very certain. But I'll give you this. See, this is the second old, you know, old, second thing, youngest head of serving head of state. The youngest is Alessandro. This again is Italian name. Alessandro is a corruption of the word. Alexander, okay, Alessandro Cardelli, Alessandro Cardelli, um, Captain Regent, what is his title, Captain Regent, Captain Regent of San Marino, San Marino of San Marino. Okay. Um, San Marino is a very tiny place. It's about 61 square kilometers. It's in Italy. It's in Italy. It's a very, very small place, my friends. And this guy became the captain regent of uh, San Marino at the age of 29. At the age of 29. That's pretty young. 29. Um, Alessandro Cardelli. 32, second youngest, Sebastian Kurz. Okay? And the currency of Austria is Euro. It's Euro. E U R O. Euro. And you know what? What is the main language of Austria? German. German is the only official language of Austria. 
Okay. Oh, as per defense website, military directs ultimate military strength uh, index, which is a true. I went through this entire thing. You can say that China has the longest, sorry, strongest military force in the world. Yes. India has the fourth last, fourth strongest military in the world. Yes. USA has the world's biggest military is the world's biggest military spender with a budget of over 732 billion dollars. Well, well, China can win a sea war with a little over 406 ships. Well, the US can win an aerial war with total assets of a uh, little over 14,000. Russia can win a land-based war with total 55,000 components. I want you to pay attention and uh, I, this is the only time I've written anything. Yeah, I normally don't write to prepare, but I have written here some data. Okay, guys. So I'm going to share this data with you, but before that, look at this. Okay, the military budget, and I have some stuff for you, but before that, please write. Um, please write this. Um, ultimate, you write this, military directs ultimate military strength index. Underline that. Once you write this, underline this. Yeah, underline it. Underline that, first point. Takes into account. So, on what basis is the index made? The index takes into account. The index takes into account a few parameters. Okay, we are going to write this. Takes into account military budget, military budget, military budget, comma, number of active, number of active and inactive number of active and inactive personal personal where did I keep the pen it's here personal personal is four number of people persons personal okay um, comma total air total air land C and nuclear capacity nuclear capacity comma I'm reading from here heaviness of equipment heaviness of equipment normally you know these are not things that I would remember because these are not data it's just uh, hardcore yardsticks okay heaviness of equipment the older the equipment, the heavier it is actually. Heaviness of equipment. Hmm? Comma. Salary. Average salary. Average salary. At private. Average salary at private. Private means Jawan. You can write in brackets. Jawan. And and let me clear this. Private average salary at private and lieutenant levels. Lieutenant levels. Lieutenant levels. Okay. Full stop. Full stop. Each criteria. Each criteria was given a weighted average of weighted average of 10 points 10 points next okay this is the data let's look at this so look at this China got 82 points in terms of budget, personal, active, air, land, you know, personal who are active, yeah, you look at this, um, active, among within personal, air, land, naval, the nuclear, yeah, salary for a private Jawan that is at the bottom most, and lieutenant officer level start point. So, China's budget, well, the budget is 261 billion dollars, it's just not as, oh, it's mentioned here, you get this the top five, four budgets in the world. Yeah, 
United States 732 billion dollar budget my friends that would be 10 times India's budget more than 10 times India's defense budget um, China is one third of um, you know a little over one third of American budget you see that it still is the second most it's the most powerful military in the world see these are all parameters these are hypothetical situations and uh, there is no personal guarantee there is no guarantee that china would war, win a war against the us these are hypothetical situations based on certain data interpreted in a certain way and presented in a tabular form that's about it nothing more than that okay so if you look at the united states uh, second most powerful nation in the world india is the fourth most India has the fourth most powerful defense force in the world, my friends. That's a lot. That says a lot about us, isn't it? Yeah. So we have been. The report mentioned something. I went to the report actually. I went to the website and checked all that stuff, and I found that is where this I collected this data. I normally don't collect data, you know, just like that, you know. Um, so I found that, um, you know, here, for example, the U.S. can win 14,000, let me clear this, okay, 14,141 total warships. And I find that um, when the U.S. has air, okay, air assets, for, I'm just giving an example, writing from the data I have collected, okay, U.S., China, my friends, so sorry, Russia has the second largest aerial assets. Okay, that would be helicopters, gunships, all kinds of things. Uh, 4682. And um, China has 3587. India has the fourth highest in the world at 2156 aerial assets. Hmm? Look at that. That's huge, you know, look at this. Combined, it's more, okay? That's air. And if I would look at land-based assets, um, you know, um, this is just for giving information, okay? Because I collected this and I found this to be pretty interesting. Land, if you look at um, China, oh my God, look at this. That's why it's any, you know, um, no, we'll start with Russia. Russia has it mentioned, no? can we win a land war with so and so? Yes. Russia, how much? 54,866, my friends. Then comes the US, 50,000. I'll take the round figure, okay? China, 41,000. India, 24,000. I'm taking the nearest 100. Look at that. Yeah. Huge assets, tanks, artillery, cannons, everything included in land. Okay, now come something in the end would be the sea force, you know, naval, naval power. Okay, naval power. Look at this China has 406 naval assets, frigates, destroyers, corvettes, all that stuff. Russia 278. United States 202, India 202, same, look at this, the Chinese have more number of naval assets than any other country in the world. So this data gives you information, you see when people beat their chest and say that India can defeat China, but you can have the data, you know, it's something very different. Being realistic is important. Being knowledgeable, being informed is very important. I gave this information at the cost of, at the, the you know, you may wonder, well, he, could, he couldn't remember that, so he wrote down. Yes, exactly, I couldn't remember this data. That's why I wrote down. A lot of the data could be easily remembered, but this was something I couldn't remember. Those numbers, yeah, there's something. It shows, it tells us a lot about uh, markets and all that, my friends, you know, defense markets and all. So, guys, we have the fourth, uh, sorry, third biggest defense budget in the world, and the fourth biggest defense, fourth strongest military in the world. That's something, yeah. With which IT major has the NITI IO National Institution for Transforming India 
uh, Niti Aayog has announced a tie-up to train students on the fundamentals of cloud computing through Atom Tinkering Laboratories, Amazon Web Services. Amazon Web Services, my friends, is owned by Amazon and you know, uh, this is the biggest cloud computing company in the world, biggest cloud services provider in the world. Its CEO is Andy Jess, Andy Jess or Andy Jesse, you know, Andy Jesse. Andy Jesse is the CEO of Amazon Web Services and um, Amazon actually company, Amazon group. And Microsoft CEO is Satya Narayana Nadella. Satya Narayana Nadella. Cisco Chuck Robbins. Chuck Robbins. Google Sundar Pichai. IBM Arvind Krishna. Arvind? Krishna. I am Krishna. Yeah. Okay. The Lok Sabha has passed a bill that seeks to extend the upper limit for permitting abortions on the present 20 weeks to 24 weeks for special categories of women that includes um, rape survivors, victims of incest, differently abled, and minors. It's all of them. Now, Incest is a word that very few people understand. Incest relates to sexual relations between persons too closely related to be legally married. So within the family essentially. Okay. So there are a lot of victims of incest especially you know this the most of these uh, crimes go unreported unfortunately in our country. Yeah. So the victims suffer silently. See this, see this now. Um, the, what does a bill seek to extend? The MTP age, MTP is medical termination of pregnancy. So the earlier it was like you know, but if you know, an abortion of a pregnancy was to be done, abortion of a pregnancy was to be done. One doctor's opinion, one doctor's opinion was to be had. You know, one was required if the abortion were to be done. In a pregnancy that was you know within 12 weeks from conception 12 weeks of conception so up to 12 weeks if a pregnancy was to be aborted one doctor's opinion is required so second between 12 and 24 two doctors opinions were required two doctors opinions were required for a MTP uh, between um, you know um, that was something between 12 and 24 weeks uh, now between before beyond 26 four weeks generally not allowed when medical termination of pregnancy is not was not allowed beyond 24 weeks uh, because it could pose a substantial threat to the lives of both the un, the, 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 the child in the womb and, um, and the, the mother but uh, in some cases exceptional cases it was given now the new law says that um, the government has brought in a new law and that says that one doctor's opinion is required if you know the abortion is to be carried on uh, carried on in case of a pregnancy up to 20 weeks so from 12 weeks it has gone up to 20 weeks and this is not two doctor's opinion is required for a pregnant from for a medical termination of pregnancy between 20 and 24 weeks. Now, activists say that reproductive health should be a personal decision made by the woman. Pregnancy should be a personal decision made by the woman. She may or may not want to have. So, it's a personal decision and these kinds of impositions are violations of fundamental freedoms. So the government has brought in a new law and I think it's a wonderful law. There should be freedom in these kinds of things. Yeah. Earlier freedom was required, especially you know, beyond 24 weeks, it was case, you know, case by case basis, and especially in case where there were substantial abnormalities in the fetus, you know. Um, something like 
absence of facial features, eyes, nose, and all that stuff, those kinds of things. Now, you know, it's not that strict. It's not that strict. Li Zi Zia, stunt defending champion, Victor Axelsen, uh, to win the 2021 All England Open Men's Badminton Singles title. Li Zia is from Malaysia. She's from Malaysia. He's from Malaysia, and he defeated Victor Axelsen of Denmark. Okay, of Denmark, Malaysia. Not much to discuss. Who in the following won the 2021 All England Women's? These women's now. Nozomi, Nozomi Okuhura of Japan when the, she won the championship and she defeated Pon Papi Chochu Wong. She's from Thailand. Runner up. Okay, Thailand. So, winner, runner up. India and Carolina Marin, Spain. Hardly anything to discuss here. As per RBI data, which country was a major destination for India's export, software exports, the share of about 57% during financial year 2019-20? US. Yes, US. You could write this. Um, total, total software exports, software services exports, total software services exports, 128 billion dollars 128.6 it is but make it okay 1.28.6 billion let me make it easy 128.6 billion dollars hmm? so next of this of this the u.s share was of this the u.s share was 56.6 percent 56.6 percent while while it was it was 27 percent for Europe 27 percent Europe including UK including UK not European Union Europe okay UK is not a member of the European Union but it is a member of its a country in the European continent Okay. Okay. That's. I think that's a fairly simple one. We got some data here. To widen the coverage of health insurance across the country, which regulatory body has expanded the sum insured bands and the standard Aarogya Sanjeevni Yojana from fifty thousand to ten lakh. Did I? You know, uh, Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India is a regulatory body of uh, the insurance sector. So, regulatory body of the insurance sector. Coming to SEBI, we mentioned this is a regulator of the regulator of the capital and commodities market in India. Capital, you can say stock and commodities market. Commodities market. Pension fund. Pension fund. Regulatory pension fund regulatory and regulatory and development authority and development authority and development authority you know um, we mentioned the see that the heads of these organizations a while ago so we're not going to repeat Sebi, we know the full form, and we took the full form, we took the heads basically. So that's about it. Hmm? Nabat, okay, we didn't discuss this. Nabat is National Bank for Agriculture. National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development. National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development. National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development. Nash, well, the chair chairman is J 
చింతల గోవిందరాజులు చింతల గోవిందరాజులు గోవింద రాజులు చింతల గోవిందరాజులు ఓకే చెల్లి విచ్ స్టేట్మెంట్స్ అబౌట్ ద ప్రింటింగ్ ఆఫ్ వన్ రూపీ కరెన్సీ నోట్స్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ నోట్ రూల్స్ ట్వంటీ ట్వంటీ ఈజ్ ఆర్ ట్రూ ద ఆపర్స్ సైడ్ ఆఫ్ ద వన్ రూపీ నోట్ ద ఫేసింగ్ సైడ్ ఈజ్ ఆపర్స్ ద రివర్స్ యూనో ద మెయిన్ సైడ్ ఈస్ కాల్ ఆపర్స్ వేర్ టెన్ ఆర్ దట్ కరెన్సీ డినామినేషన్ ఇస్ రిటర్న్ లార్జ్ లెటర్ ద ఆపర్స్ సైడ్ ఆఫ్ ద వన్ రూపీ నోట్ విల్ కంటిన్ ద వర్డ్స్ గవర్నమెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా విత్ ద బైలింగ్ వెల్ విత్ ద బైలింగ్ వెల్ సిగ్నేచర్ ఆఫ్ ద సెక్రటరీ ఆఫ్ ద మినిస్ట్రీ ఆఫ్ ఫైనాన్స్ the surrounding design will be of the saga samrat oil exploration rig it's there in the bombay high it's there in the bombay high it's an oil rig ship drilling machine mm, it's owned by, owned by ongc the overall color of the one rupee currency note will be predominantly pink green on the obverse and the reverse in combination with others you will also have a multi tonal watermark with ashoka pillar in the window without the word sapti me vijayate so all of them are true you know ashoka pillar you know it is a um, ashoka pillar you can say that is a capital what is called the emblem national emblem of india national emblem of india it's called the lion capital lion capital four back to back lions you know that comes from the sarnath lion pillar uh, sarnath pillar okay సత్యమే విజయతే మై ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఈజ్ ఇండియాస్ నేషనల్ మోటో వాట్ ఈస్ ఇట్ ఇండియాస్ నేషనల్ మోటో ఇట్ మీన్స్ ట్రూత్ అలోన్ విన్స్ ట్రూత్ అలోన్ విన్స్ అండ్ ట్రూత్ ఆల్వేస్ విన్స్ దిస్ ఈస్ టేకెన్ ఫ్రమ్ ముండక్క ఉపనిషద్ ఆన్ ముందక్ ఉపనిషద్ ముండక ఉపనిషద్ ఓకే that's it see you got stuff here this is owned by ongc located off bombay high offshore hmm? the rbi is entity is a legal ent- entity identifier for all payment transactions of value 50 crore and above undertaken by entities like entities via rtgs real time gross settlement how do you say that real time gross not gross gross settlement uh, the minimum is 2 lakh maximum is 10 lakh hmm? this is immediate absolute immediate the moment you make the payment it goes gets credited and here it's in patches national electronic funds transfer national electronic funds transfer hmm? so who has been appointed nominated as member of the global alliance of the vaccines and immunization board for two years um, starting this year to the next two years harsh vardhan dr harsh vardhan holds three ministries and you can write ministry of science and technology ministry of science and technology earth sciences health and family welfare so three ministries uh, is the union minister for science and technology union minister for earth sciences union minister for health and family welfare okay amit shah is the home minister of india home minister of india subramanian jay shankar my friends is the foreign affairs minister of india foreign affairs minister of india sorry foreign affairs we normally don't say foreign affairs we say external affairs but whatever foreign affairs rajnath singh defense minister nirmala sitaraman finance and corporate affairs yeah finance is one corporate affairs is the second one okay The International Financial Services Centers Authority, IFSCA, has recently become an associate member of the International Organization of Securities Commissions based at Madrid, Spain. You could write about this particular organization. Um, hmm? ISCO. 
established this one established 1983 established 1983 head office madrid it's there madrid spain madrid third one mm. what is it what is it actually yeah the secretary general is paul andrews Paul Andrews and the most important thing what is this for you could write forum for forum for so forum for national national securities regulators like SEBI and all that securities regulators securities regulators If Ska and Sebi. Which company has recently acquired an additional 33%? I'm taking it on for that. In Air Asia India, from the Air Asia Group by hand, for about 276 crore, there were reducing the Malaysian carrier stake to about 16%. It's not doing well. So, Tata Sons, Tata Sons. Tata Sons, um, chairman is Natarajan, Chandra, Natarajan Chandrasekharan. Natarajan Chandrasekharan. Tata Sons owns two airlines. One is Vistara. They have large stake in Vistara, and they also have a stake in Air Asia. They are the majority partner in Vistara, and now more or less the majority partner in Air Asia as well. Tika, go Air. Um, should you know all these things? Not really. I don't think you really need to know. But um, you know, um, chala, may I, I'll give you two more. Spice Jet Ajay Singh Ajay Singh Spice Jet Ajay Singh He's the guy who started the company actually Ajay Singh Air Asia The guy who founded the company is a group CEO Tony Fernandez Tony Fernandez This is a Malaysia based company Tony Fernandez Tony Fernandez I'll give you one more last one. Indigo. Chalun, otherwise, go ahead. I started with go ahead. Um, Kaushik Kona. Kaushik Kona. I don't know data for Indigo. You know, it's not required. Chalun. Oh, this the end here. Thanks for being here guys. Thank you so much uh, for being a part of this uh, web doc. Have a lot of fun. Stay curious. Thank you.